Hi everyone, welcome back to the Wine Archive. My name is Jan Dubaka, and today we're going to taste another white burgundy, this time from Domaine Ramonet, and we're going to taste a Saint-Aubin Le Chamois 2018. Let's taste. The story of Domaine Ramonet started in the 1920s, when Pierre Ramonet arrived in Burgundy and bought his first parcel at chassin montrachin This was the premier cru, Ruchot. Shortly after that, the Ruchot made the Domaine's international reputation. He started producing amazing wines and were exported worldwide. The 1934 Ruchot was actually the first estate bottled white Burgundy imported to the US. In the meantime, the wines were also a great success in great French restaurants. Currently, the domain is managed by Noël and Jean-Claude Ramonet since 1984. They are the grandsons of Pierre Ramonet and the third generation of the domain. It's their mission now to keep the legacy of this legendary domain alive. They're doing a fantastic job to keep up with an outstanding reputation and I have no doubt they are doing their grandfather very proud. With all this information, you can guess that Ramonet is a very respected winery and Pierre Ramonet attained almost a like mythical status in the wine world due to his great wines. A few words about the 2018 vintage. The year was notable for having the hottest and driest growing season since the intense heatwave of 2003. In the winter and spring, there was not a perfect weather condition, but it arrived in time for an early but very successful flowering. The summer was hot and exceedingly dry, although Nuit Saint-Georges did see some vicious hail which impacted yields. The ideal weather conditions during late August and September meant producers could pick at their own leisure, which put the vintage in very good stead. The resulting harvest was one of the largest in years, particularly for the Chardonnay. Now let's open up the wine. So as you know, it's a 2018, which is quite young for such a powerful Chardonnay wine, I will use a decanter or a carafe to decant the wine and give it some aeration to taste. The aromas that are coming outside of the decanter right now, it's crazy, it's amazing. This is typical Ramonet, Jesus Christ. Wow. Now I just decanted the wine. Maybe I can give you another small tip. So when I'm drinking a younger Burgundy white, or also red, but in this case white, I also give the, the carafe one or two heavy swirls to give it some kind of shock effect to even more aromatize the, the flavors and the aromas, that it's more expresses itself. That should help in this case, because Ramon is also a very powerful wine. He's known for that. So one or two heavy swirls will not really uh, impact the wine that much. It's just going to open up a little bit more. So one, two, and that's it. A little bit of uh, aeration. You think it can maybe ruin the wine, but that's for sure not the case. Even sometimes I try to, to give it an extra shock effect that it's really, the juices are coming out, the flavors are really melting together and just with the aeration. Um, so that's a small tip. You, jo you don't need to copy me if you think it's too scary to do, but that's your choice. Now let's taste the wine, of course. We talked so much. Okay. The color is very pale. I would say it's a straw color. On the rim, a little bit of green, but really deep and intense. On the nose. Wow, such a powerful nose, it's crazy. This is typical Ramonet. You smell that it's going to be a very powerful wine and very intense and deep flavors. You have some flavors of honey, some white flowers, some flint. Flint is other term for minerality. You have some white pepper, some oak. 
We have a little bit of salty popcorn, some peach, some pear. Well, for such a traditional winemaker, it's a very succulent and very aromatic and I'm a bit surprised by the tropical notes because that's not usually the case for Ramonet, but in this case it's really well balanced in the nose and it fits perfectly. On the palate. Oh wow. So juicy, great structure, the freshness. It's a very intense wine with a lot of depth and length. The flavors on the palate are really reminiscent to the flavors on the nose. So you have the, the tropical fruits, you have the honey, you have the peach, you have the pear, and then next to that you have the, the white flowers. Then you have also the, the, the popcorn, the saltiness. It's just a very succulent wine. I, I love it. Just a, just a great wine for a saint -Aubain. Now you have some spices as well, you have some Mediterranean herbs, you have some white pepper. It's, it's just such a complex wine, you would never guess from a saint -Aubain. It's just amazing. If you taste this wine blind next to a, a big Chassagne or a big Puligny, I don't think you will, you will find that this is a saint -Aubain. It's for sure a very big competitor. And this is why Ramonet is very famous. They make just outstanding wines. My glass is already empty. I'm going to refill because yeah, it's just amazing. I love this winery so much. It's no surprise that everything is sold out. You, you cannot find uh, those bottles very quickly. Uh, I'm very happy and lucky to have a small allocation, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, Delighted that I can open up these bottles, share it with you guys. After this review, we are going to do a tasting with some friends. I will do this blind, so uh, it's a blind tasting. And you never guess it, it will be a KFC evening. So we will have a lot of chicken, um, but it's so fun to have KFC or, or McDonald's or, or Burger King, and then you have some big, big wines next to it. It's just fun. Um, but no, yeah, this bottle, it's very precious to me to, to open up these bottles and I love sharing my opinion about these wines with you guys. Um, so I hope you appreciate it. If you also have experience with Ramonet, please let us know in the comments down below. I'm really curious because it's, it's a winery that you don't see often that people drink because unfortunately it's a wine nowadays for speculation. So people buy it to resell, it's, it's very unfortunate. But if you have an experience with this wine, please let us know. I'm really curious and yeah, let's see each other on the next one. Cheers.